Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, and my song is called. God bless you. Um, my name is James Dean Taylor, and I'm from Sandbach, and I just want to give a testimony to glorify the Lord. Um, I give my life to the Lord now about four or five years ago, and um, I know that it was the right thing to do. And um, But before I was saved, I was in the world. I used to like partying. I used to love doing the things of the world. There wouldn't probably be many things that I haven't done, and probably things that I wouldn't be proud of. And when I was in the world, I was up and down. And um, I thank the blessed Lord that I, one night I went to church. But to give you a little bit of a quick summary of my life, there's been things that's happened in my life. There's, uh, my brother was only 17. He, um, he died in a car accident, and he went home to be with the Lord. But thank God he was he saved. Was saved. He was saved, and um, and thank God I know where he is. But you know, through that time, God he, uh, he helped me, he helped my family. You know, because it's only the Lord that can heal a broken heart. And you know, my daddy had cancer, and I lost my little girl. But all the way through it, you know, the Lord he how was with lose, me. How did you nearly lose your little girl? I uh, what happened was is um, I had two boys. I've got two boys, thank God, and I got a little. Uh, we found out it was a little baby girl. And when she was two days old, we brought up the hospital, and everything was all all right. And then what happened was, is um, one night I was reading the Word, saying again back to God, glorifying the Lord. And I was reading the Book of Hebrews, chapter eleven, and I was speaking about having faith. And that night, I um, the baby went to bed, and I said to my wife, I said, "Have a rest. I'll keep my eye to her." And the Lord told me to to wake up. Well, I believe the Lord told me, and I checked the baby, and she was breathing fast. And we took her to the hospital in an ambulance and he said that something was wrong with her heart and that night uh, she was in intensive care and she had to get rushed to Liverpool Alderay Children's Hospital and she was there for a while and she had to have surgery and um, they said that she might have open heart surgery and, and other things and, and you know the Lord revealed through his word that you know through faith you know Moses and Abram they went through many situations but God you know through the faith God had the power and he had, he had the glory and uh, and I know that God, you know, he had the glory through it. And he, in the word of God, it was telling me about that I needed faith. And when we was in the hospital, when this happened to my little baby girl, my wife was obviously upset, and the same as myself, but crystal clear. I know, I said, you know, if God's healed cancer, if God's healed a broken heart, God can help us through this. We just need to have faith. And thank God that we did. And through prayer, um, my little girl didn't have to have open heart surgery. She ended up having surgery in a different way. And... Um, and I know through prayer as well, they said that when she comes out of the surgery, she'll be in a, an intensive care ward and she'll be there for a while. And she came out and she was in a normal ward. And I know it was for the power of prayer. And I thank God that God got us for that situation. Now she's nearly two year old. She'll think 18, 19 month old. And she's lovely. She's healthy. And uh, the doctors can't believe how healthy she is. And, and they said like, she's got to come back every six months. And the doctor said come back in a couple of years. And I want to mention that, like I said, to glorify the Lord because... Um, through the broken hearted, through situations and trials, God he helps us. And like I said, four or five years ago, I went into the church in Sandbach and I gave my life to the Lord. And I never give me heart, just thought that it was a good thing to do. I know that, you know, I had to give me life. God, he wanted me life. And by giving me life, I repented and turned away from my old sin. And what happened is, is I started walking with the Lord. And let me tell you something, God, he gives us a peace that passes all understanding. God, he helps us through trials and troubles that we can't go through. But the main thing, he sent his son to die for us, Jesus Christ, you know, for our sins. That, you know, that one day that our sin was taken us to hell. And, you know, by the power of Jesus, you know, that we can go to heaven, we can go to glory land. And this new life that he can give us, it's open to every single one of us. We just need to repent. You know, the Bible says that we should believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth that Christ died and rose again and we will be saved. But, you know, my testimony is that, that you know, now... Uh, I've been walking with the Lord for a while. God's blessed me in ways that I'd never ever understand. And you know, when you fully give your life to the Lord, God, He pours in His blessings. And you know, now with the help of God, I'm serving the Lord. And I thank the blessed Lord that I am. And you know, let me tell you something. We're all far from perfect, but we're forgiven. And you know, that's the main, main thing. And like I said, to give this testimony, to glorify the Lord, is that if you don't know the Lord Jesus, let me tell you something. People say, is, let's give God a chance. It's us that deserves the chance. And we have that chance. And I just want to say I thank God for blessing me. He saved my wife. You know, he saved my family. And with the help of God, he's doing a work in my life. And he's going to do a work in each and every one of our lives. But uh, he can do a work in your life if you just repent. And if you just give your life to Jesus and open up your heart. And you know, God, he will move and he can save us. God bless you. God bless Till he returns or calls me home. Here
and the power of Christ I stand till he returns Oh, cause me home Here in the power of Christ I'll stand